Well, there's a pretty Elvis. As you can see, he's reasonably mobile. I wanted to take a second to show you guys how we're working with these capsules. That's about a dose for a 70 pound dog in his situation. Um, so I have these capsules and what we do on a daily basis, twice a day, is to doctor some hot dogs. So let's see if I can put that so you can see it maybe. Each one of the capsules is approximately one milliliter. I can usually get 10 to 15 properly sized hot dog treats with a little surprise inside. And this hasn't been tested for potency as it's homemade. I've been making edibles for medical patients for quite a long time now. And what I'm used to with every patient is different. And the first thing I do normally is knock their ass for a loop. Uh, with Elvis, that took one tablespoon and a little bit. A tablespoon is three teaspoons, and five of these capsules is a teaspoon. So if I give him 10 to 15 hot dog capsules, he will get 10 to 15 milliliters, or two to three teaspoons. Also, because the THC has a tendency of making him a bit faded. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. That's what we did yesterday, so that's what we're going to do today. Um, we got our little... Oh, I got my hands on this one. We got our little back stock of hot dogs there. We got a jar of coconut oil. We got some leftover capsules there. And we got Elvis's breakfast. So, let's... I might just do 13 for a good number. Uh, if I can. That one may or may not take. Oh, you want to pick up your can of food? Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Bring it over to the dinner bowl. You want some yogurt today too? Try to help some of your acidophilophilus in this. Help your stomach recover from those gnarly ass steroids. So yogurt. Hot dogs. Wait. Back it up. Ow. It's kind of hard to open the can with only one hand, Mr. Elvis. Sorry about that. That is the Elvis cancer treatment surprise. There's a few folks out there in Facebook land. You're going to wait. Check it out. Go ahead, check it out. And what we found is in about four hours, he's going to be pretty napped out. And then in six to eight hours, he might stand. Oops, ouch. He might stand up and wobble around. The nice part is, thanks to Miss Bonnie and Mike and all those other people that helped, see, he has this nice little courtyard. And there's a few other dogs that pee here, which helps him pee. But being able to be on ground level 
And I mean, I'll try to show you later. He gets faded. Um, so that's our update on Mr. Elvis's cancer treatment video style. Uh, let's see how many of those things I might be able to get filled here shortly. And, uh, I guess if I am what I eat, I'm up three kinds of nuts and orange juicy. Enjoy your lunch there, Mr. Breakfast, Mr. Elvis. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks, guys. Bye. So, to begin with, we have a large majority of these gelatin capsules. You see the little top comes off. You have the cap. You fill. That's about... As you see here, the lighter green color, it's the same oil, but this is lower than 70 degrees, so the coconut oil is solidified. These this coconut oil combination that I made a while ago is not tested or rated and with dealing with a cannabis uh, <coughs> concentrate everybody's different so in this situation these capsules are for my dog who's dealing with cancer and a tumor and we tried steroids that didn't work then when the steroids w ran out it got a lot worse and so we've been doing these capsules and I normally do about 10 to 12 in the morning and possibly up to maybe 15 or 18 at night it's been giving him a lot of good rest and sleep and it's reduced the over inflamed tumor that was on his hip back down almost to the original size so as you can see i got a lot of work here but we'll check back in once we get all of these things but at cvs this little baby doser syringe and the other thing is accept it it's a messy job so you can see my hands just from grabbing that thing right there all now shiny and stuff but once you get through this process, maybe you like to try it a cleaner way. I use the towel and just crank these out and then set them here. That way when I roll them around a little bit, it gets all the excess oil off of the capsules. You can see they're still pretty shiny and lots of extra. But both coconut oil and cannabis have... Uh, medical qualities that encourage reduced swelling and inflammation and as you can see Mr. Elvis there say hi Elvis what are you doing buddies is your medicine kicking in are you feeling stoned yet he looks a little bit there he is there's Elvis he's like no I'm not too stoned I'm not too stoned back here you might be able to see he's got that bump and it's getting a lot better now it's back down to a golf ball size it was about the size of a baseball three days ago and that little cough we don't have the test results up here but mr elvis has got some cloudy lungs that the doctor thinks is metastasized bad cancer that's spread all in there and she said he wouldn't have survived the anesthesia for the operation to take the tumor off. And at 13 years of age, he's still doing pretty good. We're not only doing this, well, look, we can see that he didn't particularly care for the yogurt. But he might get into it later. I think it's time for him to do some business. So I'm going to get back to cranking out these coconut capsules for Mr. Elvis. And we'll check back in with you. I'm Clem Hawkins. That's Elvis P. Mutley. We love you, family. Bye.
So as you see, in about an hour and a half, we were able to fill up one 273, I think it was, capsules. Plus the seven, so we got 280 caps. And if we do 280, if we did 14 a day, that's 40 days maybe. So the thing to remember when you're doing this, either for an animal or for a person, is that one of these capsules is probably enough to get somebody high as if they are smoking, but it lasts obviously six to eight hours. Two or three of these capsules normally get, I get reports from a three capsule dosages, that's almost too much. Now that's on a 120 to 180 pound person, I guess, where Elvis is 65 pounds, um, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. That's about one meal's dose right there that I'll fit into two hot dogs. The thing that I was mentioning earlier is when you are dosing people or pets, the thing to remember is it's a lot better and easier to find the perfect dosage if you overdo it and then cut back. You can find exact dosage that way, often in two or three attempts. At that point, you'll be aware of exactly how much you need to get the desired effect. So uh, take that information into account when you're working with your significant other. And we're going to get back to this, uh, making this video for you and get it uploaded. Talk to you soon.